Hi students, Miss Sarah here. I've got a book to read to you. It's called The Boy Who Spoke to the Earth. It's by Chris Burkhardt and David McKellen. It won an independent book publisher award and I found this book at REI. Now, I'm gonna just double check where I'm placing my book. Yep, yeah. okay, good. All right, so on the inside cover it says, if you had a conversation with the earth, what would you ask? There once was a boy who spoke to the earth, and the earth spoke back. Earth, are you listening? My boy, I am always listening. Where can I find happiness? The journey to happiness is difficult, but I can show you the way, said the earth. Are you willing to make the journey? Oh, I am, said the boy, and he meant it. Then go to the ocean where the waves tower overhead, said the earth. So the boy began to walk. I see the water and the shells, said the boy, but I don't see happiness. Then go to the cliffs where the water is always flowing, said the earth. So the boy waited and he wandered until he left the waves behind. I see the spray and the moss, said the boy, but I don't see happiness. Then go to the forest where trees gather together, said the earth. So the boy stepped and he strode until he left the moss behind. I see the roots and the leaves, said the boy, but I don't see happiness. Then go to the desert where the red stone guards the way, said the earth. So the boy hiked and he hauled until he left the trees behind. I see the sand and the stone, said the boy, but I don't see happiness. Then go to the mountains where peaks touch the clouds, said the earth. So the boy trekked and he trudged until he left the sand behind. I see the rocks and the brush, said the boy, but I don't see happiness. Then go to the top of the world where lights dance in the sky, said the earth. So the boy climbed and he crawled until he left the peaks behind. I see the ice and the snow, said the boy, but I don't see happiness. This time, the earth didn't answer. So the boy walked, and he walked, and he walked, until he left it all behind. I've traveled so far and seen so much, but I still haven't found happiness. Earth, are you listening? cried the boy. My boy, did you look without seeing? asked the earth. Go back along the trail, but this time stand still for just a moment. So he went back and he looked again. And for the first time, the boy truly saw happiness was all around him. There's a butterfly. And that's the end of the book. Now, I also want to tell you, students, that these beautiful pictures, these beautiful illustrations in this book, 
These are all real places that we have in our country, in the United States. And that's pretty special. So on the back of this book, it says, did you look without seeing? And you might ask yourself, when have you looked without seeing? And how can you be better to make sure that you see the beauty and the happiness that's all around you? The boy who spoke to the earth. Thanks for listening.